What's good everybody, welcome back to my channel, I'm Zamir from XAC Tunes. In this video I'm gonna show you guys one of the best features in Cubase that I love and I just found out that Studio One has the same feature as well. In my opinion, I feel like Cubase does it better compared to Studio One. I'll show you guys in a minute. So what I meant was, if when I'm scoring for a film, I like to align each scene to perfectly fit the bar and tempo. It used to be really hard before but now when I started using Cubase it's, it was really really easy and I love doing it. I love scoring for a film because of this one feature right here. So I'm gonna show you guys what I meant. I'm gonna drag a video. Okay so let me just mute this one. So first thing first when you are scoring for a film you have to add two things. One is the marker track the other one is tempo track and you can also add time signature track if you want um, so let's go ahead and add that marker tempo and signature track cool All right so and another thing that you have to do is obviously to look for the scene that you want to score that you want the music to start right so for example this guy is knocking the door right and let's go ahead and see what are the best scene okay so i want to start the music to I, I want the music to start when he opened this door which is at the frame 12. okay so what i do i go to marker click press insert insert the marker here right here and then I want to see which scene that the music to stop. So let's see. Okay, so when the camera zooms in, I want the music to stop. Okay, just for the purpose of this video. So frame 0, 02. So I'm going to insert another marker. Okay, like so. Okay, if you see, it is not properly aligned within the 4 bar or 2 bar. So when I score something now, it's going to sound really weird. So I like to align the marker to start at the 23rd bar and then this one ends after 4 bar okay so how I can do that is by going to the audio warp tool here and then I can just click on here and click um, I can just drag it oh okay nothing make sure to turn off the musical mode so I'm gonna just drag it there so now if you notice this marker track is aligned with the 23rd bar okay so when he opens the door when he opens the door it's gonna align perfectly within this within with the scene okay that's perfect but but I want the 4 bar to end here or maybe 2 bar is 2 bar enough I don't know it's just a demonstration video so let's do a 4 bar here so I want 4 bar to end here so 1 2 3 4 just drag it to the left okay now when he opens the door so if you notice when he when the scene reached here it stopped the tempo changed and if I want to write a 4 bar motif for this scene, it should work perfectly, right? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, stop. Perfect. So, this is my favorite feature in Cubase. There is a way to do this in Studio One. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Okay, I'm going to drag the same file. Okay. okay, now we are in Studio One with the same scene and I'm going to go here and change it to frames. Okay, the frame rate is going to be different from the one in Cubase because the frame rate is not built within this video. It's going to be a bit different, but that is not a problem. So I'm going to go and find that scene. Okay, this is the one. So if I want to change the frame, I have to come down right here and click on this frame. And I can press arrow down key to move each frame. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna add. I'm gonna add a marker track. Okay. So that's a marker track, 
and I'm gonna add a tempo track as well oops sorry okay so tempo track and marker track so I want to start the music at this marker track here right right so right here Now I'm going to go to the end scene where get zooms. Okay, let's bring it down. Okay. Okay, this scene insert. Right. So I want to make sure that I have the four bar within this range. So how can I do that? It's simple. I'm going to click here to just set uh, whatever the tempo before this to not be affected. So now I want this 11th bar to start at this marker here. Make sure to change it to time base, time linear, not the beat linear. And come here and change it to the time base as well. Now I'm going to press control to drag it to the left. Okay. Oops. It's not aligned here. Let's align it. Okay. And then the next bar, this one right here, I want it to start. One, two, three, four. Okay. I want the 15th bar to to end at the end scene here. Okay. Click create a node. Press Control. And drag it like so. Okay. Okay. Just make sure that it fit perfectly. Okay, so now we have the same feature in Studio One. Okay, perfect. So what I can do now? I can just drag it like so, so that it only affect this tempo between these selected bar. Okay, now this feature is amazing and I'm glad that Studio One have this feature so now I can also score in Studio One but I still haven't really decided whether I want to switch to Studio One yet. I'm still like checking out some of the features that I kind of like. The cool part about Studio One is they have all the best features from all the DAWs. It's like Cubase and FL Studio, you know, make babies and now they have this really super awesome doll. And I am really excited to explore more in Studio One. So I'll be I'll be sharing more videos about this. I don't know whether I'm gonna change to Studio One yet. Let's explore more. And I'll share with you guys what's the difference and similarity that both the Studio One and Cubase has. Alright? So thanks for watching guys. I'll see you guys in the next video.